fellow mathematicians. We're going to take a look at this question of why we expect exponential functions as solutions to a second order ODE with constant coefficients. Now you don't need to answer this question to be able to solve these types of differential equations, but it is a good question to answer, especially if you're going into higher level science and engineering courses or deeper into mathematics. Now the way we're going to answer this question is by using a very important technique in mathematics where we'll take a current problem and our current problem here is solving this second order ODE with constant coefficients and we'll relate our current problem back to an earlier problem that we were able to solve. And what we are able to solve at this point is first order ODEs. So let's take a look at a similar first order differential equation. And I'm basically just gonna chop off the second derivative term. So let's write it down. Our first order ODE, we'll call the first coefficient A. So we'll write this as A, Y prime plus BY equals zero. And as it turns out, this is very easy to solve as a separable equation. So to start that, let me rewrite y prime as dy over dx. All right, I always like to add or subtract before I split up the derivative. So let me subtract the by term to the right side. We get a times the derivative. equals negative by. And from here we can separate. I'm gonna multiply my dx over, divide the y over, and then I'll even divide the a over. So separating this should put it into the following form. We'll get one over y dy equals negative b over a dx. All we need to do now is integrate both sides the left side should be simple. You'll recognize that as integrating to natural log of y. And the right side is also pretty easy. b and a are constants. They're your coefficients up here. So here we're just integrating a constant. The antiderivative is the constant times x. We'll get negative b over a times x and then of course plus c, your integration constant. This is an implicit solution. To kind of answer our question, we'll want an explicit solution. So we'll want to solve this for y. I can do that by exponentiating both sides base e. And we're going to make it look exactly like this. We're going to use a very common trick, which is just basic exponent rules. Due to the addition in the exponent, I can rewrite that as a product of bases. So we're going to think of this right side as e to this and then times e to that. So times e to the c. And we're going to recognize c as a constant. E is also a constant. A constant raised to a constant is another constant. Let's call that D. I can write this side in a little bit cleaner form. I can write this as Y equals. I'll take that D to the front. And to make it look exactly the same, let me introduce another constant. Let me introduce R as negative B over A. And I can replace that constant negative B over A with R. And what we get as a solution to our first order ODE with constant coefficients is an exponential function. Now, if we're thinking along the lines of mathematics, we have the thought, well, 
This is true for first order ODEs. Is that still true for second order ODEs with constant coefficients? And as it turns out, that is, and that's what you make use of to solve your second order ODEs. Everything we went through here was just to build your intuition of why you should have that expectation. And the answer is, to put it very shortly, well, first order ODEs have exponential functions as their solutions. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hopefully you are building your mathematical intuition from this. If you enjoyed the content, support the channel, make sure to like and subscribe.